Have you been trying to do a push up but you notice that you're lacking the upper body strength to do so? If that's the case, then don't worry because in this video, I'm gonna share with you three things you can try to achieve your first push up. Plus, at the very end of this video, I'll show you how you can set this up as a workout and as a long term plan. So make sure you stick around for that. Alright, so if you're lacking the upper body strength to do a full push up, then there are three main things you can work on to achieve your first push up. Now the first one is going to be knee push ups. So here you're going to be doing push ups on your knees and you might need some padding under the knees here so it's going to be less uncomfortable for the knees. So the main thing with the technique is that you want to avoid a T shape like this. Instead pull the hands down so the hands are slightly on your chest level and this applies to all of the push up progressions we have here today. Now a common mistake we see here is that people stick on this progression for way too long so they start doing 50 repetitions and maybe even more than 50 on run one Two. And then they notice that they still can't perform a full push-up and that's because if you're working towards your first push-up You're not lacking the strength endurance. You're lacking the strength And if you go and do 50 reps of knee push-ups, well you're working on strength endurance now So I wouldn't spend any more time on knee push-ups than necessary I would actually move on to progression number two as soon as possible Or I will maybe even skip knee push-ups in the first place if you're able to already jump on to progression number two Which is going to be incline push-ups. This is uh, much smarter than knee push-ups, but if you're unable to find a proper incline for this, in that case you have to stick to knee push-ups for now, but as soon as you have enough strength, jump on to incline push-ups. So basically here you're going to be doing push-ups with your body completely straight, but you're going to have your hands on an elevated surface. Now the elevated surface could be anything, it could be a chair, a low pull-up bar, a bench, or maybe a, um, a adjustable door frame pull-up bar, you can adjust the height. That's a great option because then you can gradually lower it as well. Anything that's going to elevate your hands from the ground basically. Here obviously keep the hips straight, lock the glutes and the core. And hey, if you get some value from this video, then why don't you go ahead and subscribe to the channel right there for more similar videos in the future. Now the way you can adjust the difficult here is by simply adjusting the height of the hand elevation. So the higher your hands are elevated, the easier it's going to be. So the more repetitions you're going to be able to perform. And the lower the hands are going to be elevated, the harder it's going to be. Here, you could start with a high repetition range, so 12 to 50 repetitions. And remember, because reps are that high, you're going to have your hands very elevated as well. So you find an elevated place where you can perform 12 to 15 repetitions, and where those are getting too easy, you obviously lower the incline, so you lower the elevation of your hands. I recommend that you lower them enough so that you can do 8 to 10 repetitions. The reps are going to be lower because the incline is going to be way lower as well. So it's going to be more resistance, and therefore you're going to be able to do less reps. When those feel pretty comfortable, you can lower again and do six to eight repetitions. And then after that, you can probably even take it down to three to five repetitions. Progression number three is going to be negative push-ups. So here we're going to be flat on the ground if you're able to. And we're only going to do the negative part of the push-up. So only the lowering phase here. So you're going to start in a full push-up position on the ground. You're going to come down on a count of five seconds. If you're able to do five seconds, well, just do as slow as you can and then work up to a five second one and then over time I would recommend you move up to a 10 second eccentric and then after that you can move on to 15 second eccentrics and here I would recommend you do you come five seconds down to nine degrees so when your elbows are in a nine degree position you stay there for five seconds and then after that you come down five seconds all the way just to the ground and that's one repetition with the 15 second eccentrics so those were the progressions so now let's move on how you can actually set this up in a somewhat of a long-term plan and in a workout. So one way to set this up is that you will start with the negative push-ups of three to five reps in three to five sets. After your negative push-ups, you're gonna move on to incline push-ups. So if you want to break this down into phases, phase one will be five second eccentrics, three to five reps of three to five sets, and incline push-ups, three sets of 12 to 50 repetitions. Phase two is going to be 10 second eccentrics, three to five sets of three to five reps, combined with incline push-ups of eight to 10 repetitions of three to four sets. And phase three will be 15 second negative push-ups of three to five sets for three to five reps, combined with incline push-ups of six to eight repetitions of three to four sets. And phase number four will be 15 second negative push-ups of three to five sets of three to five reps combined with incline push-ups of three to five reps for three to five sets. As you can see, we're gradually making it harder. So that would be my recommendation. But if you want to keep it even more simple, then in the incline push-ups, you could simply keep the reps the same, 
but just gradually lower the incline and you don't even have to do this you know accurately as long as you gradually lower the incline and extend your negative push-ups you're gonna improve and you're gonna achieve your first push-up really really soon so now that you're on your way to achieve your first push-up now you might be interested in finding out how to do push-ups for the best results for your chest so in that case i highly recommend you to have a look at this video right here it's gonna teach you how to perform push-ups for the best results for your chest if you got some value from this then please go ahead and leave this video a like it's highly appreciated and subscribe to the channel for more tips on how to build a warrior body with primal training thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye bye